Hey everybody, this is Steve from NonprofitAlly.com, and we are headed into part two of the third lesson in the Nonprofit Website video series. We just finished installing plugins in the previous lesson, and now we're moving on to widgets and shortcode, and we're also going to install that donation page that we set up and make it go live, so that will be at the end of the video. If you haven't watched part one yet, I recommend you do that because we are going to jump right into this and we're going to do that now. So let's get started. So, so now not all plugins are on the back end. Some of them actually appear on the front end. So I'm going to show you how that works in the, the appearance setting right here above plugins. You're going to go over and we're going to go to widgets. Widgets and plug plugins get confused sometimes, but basically a plugin is something that gets installed on your site. You can use it in the back end. It has certain features, but sometimes the plugins can be put into the front end of your site so visitors to see it. When they become that, they're called widgets. And you can see right here in this box are your available widgets. You can actually close this if you like. And here's your main widget area. Now each theme or template that you use in WordPress will have a different section or area on your WordPress website that the main widget area is. The main widget area for the theme that came installed appears in the footer section of our site, which is the bottom. There is a secondary widget area, which is here. There's nothing in it right now. We're about to put something there. This secondary widget area is actually the right column of your website. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to take our simple social media icons. These right here. These are what we installed as a plugin. We're going to you can take this and you can drag it. You can move it over and you can drop it over here. Now this is going to show up on the right hand side of our of our of our website. So I'm going to have a um, I'm going to give it a title called Follow Us. And I like my um, new pages if they're not within my own site to show up in a different window. So it's going to open in a new window. I want the icons to be size 36 and these got <coughs> Excuse me. And these I'm going to leave in the uh, at the default settings. And down here, you're going to see that you can add different social media URLs, the addresses. So I'm going to add three of them. I have them open already. I'm going to go to the Nonprofit Ally, our Facebook page. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to post it here in Facebook. I'm going to go to our uh, my LinkedIn profile right here. I'm going to copy that. And where's LinkedIn? I'm going to paste that in Facebook. And I'm going to go to my Twitter account right here. I'm going to copy that. Oops, that's not Twitter. That's Twitter. I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to paste that in um, the Twitter section here, which is right there. So these links link to my own or my or the nonprofit allies social media pages. I'm going to click Save. And now what you can do is you can take your, you can view this to see where it shows up under, up here at the top, I'm going to right click, I'm going to open this in a new window. And you can see the social media links just showed up right here on the right hand side of our site. You have control over the color of these, so the rollover color or the, the, the regular linked color like this, they're gray, now they're dark gray. Um, on the Nonprofit Ally site, you can see that these are um, right here when you roll over them, they turn blue. And you can add and, and take away as many as you like. So that's how you get a, a plugin. It becomes a widget and gets added to your front page. There's one more thing we should go over, and that's called short codes. So I'm going to go back to my dashboard. Now, a, a short code basically is it, it's a plugin that gets installed on your site. And I'm actually going to go to the nonprofit ally backend here. So I'm going to. So here we are at the uh, Nonprofit uh, Allies backend, our dashboard. And you're going to see over here there's something called iWorld Maps. Now this is a plugin. I installed this plugin. And when I click on it, you see that the, uh, I have one map here and it has a short code. Now what you do with a short code is you basically copy this. And you can take that short code and you can place it in a widget or on a page or a post, and that is where this map will show up. And let me show you how I did that. Let's go, I'll show you my widget first. So I'm gonna to go to Appearance Widgets. I'm gonna go in here. And since it's a short code, usually you have to enter short code as a like a text field, which is what I did here. So um, this is uh, all my widgets, and here's my primary widget area. 
I'm going to go under here. This is the name of the template that I'm using for the theme I'm using for a nonprofit ally, though it's going to change soon. And you're going to see here, right here, is that short code I pasted in. And then I added some text to explain what it is. And how that shows up on the nonprofit ally site is here, where you uh, on many of the pages, there it is on the right hand side. So there is that map placed in a widget area using short code. Now the other way to do this is to go and make it a part of a page or a post. Now I have a map page, which you might have seen already, and I'm just going to go search for that right now as a page. And so here's my state nonprofit link page. I'm going to click on this. And you're going to see you, you see the, the editing area here, and you're going to see that short code is pa pasted right here. And that short code links to the map I made. And so when you go to this page, the state nonprofit links, there's the map. The same map that's the sidebar on the other page using short code. So a lot of people get confused between plugins widgets and short codes because they're all very similar and they overlap in some way but i hope that that helped explain it for you um, they're very powerful tools once you really get to understand them and, and you have so many options to pick from at the that through wordpress the wordpress.org site because there's so many developer developers out there making stuff for wordpress and believe it or not most of it is free and one of the best free ones that i know of especially for nonprofits, is the seamless donation so seamless donation was one of the widgets we installed on the on this my example website the nonprofit website and you can see it over here on the left hand side now i'm going to go ahead and we'll just click on this you'll see the back end of it it's really easy to set up um you you um basically once you click on that your left hand side i can see my donations who's don donated i can customize a thank you email i can send people to a thank you page after they make a donation and right now I'm just going to go into the settings and I'm going to set up my PayPal account, which is really easy to do. I have certain settings up here um, that you can change the amount people can donate. Uh, I'll let you go through this. I'm going to make my default state Alaska because that's where I'm at. And you can go through this and, and customize it, but here's the, the, the best part. It's so easy. All you need is your PayPal email address. And update it. And it's going to connect automatically. When someone makes a donation, it's going to connect to your PayPal account via that email address. So make sure that you update your settings when you enter in new email addresses or new states so that it gets saved in the database and the um, seamless donation is actually a short code just like I showed you before so it gets put into a page via a short code and unfortunately uh, they, they don't give you that information here anywhere in your setups or anything like that they actually tell you about it when you download it from from uh, wordpress.org seamless donations in the support section or in the installation section they show you right here that short code so copy that i'm going to go back now to the website i'm going to paste that into a page i'm going to make a page and add a new one and we'll just call it a um, donation page and you basically just paste that short code right there in the page and then you want to publish this though so that it's public now even though you've published a page it's not going to show up on the website until you connect it to a menu now menus are something I'm going to go into in more detail in a later lesson but we're just we're just going to do this really quick here so that you can see how to get this donation page to um, show up right away so you're going to go to appearance menus And this takes me to the menu area. Now you can create many menus, and a lot of themes will have a top menu, a footer menu, a sidebar menu, and some only have one place for a menu. And so right now you can see that in my pages, there's a donation page. These are the way, these are the uh, options I have to select to put in the menu. And actually, here's the menu. I typically change the name of my menu 
to a, I usually have a main menu, a side menu, and a footer menu. So I'm going to call this the main menu. And you can see it comes already with two links, the home page and the sample page. Now we're going to add a menu for the donation page. So I'm going to click here on the page that I want to add. I'm going to add it to the menu. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I'm going to add it to the menu. And once you click this open, you can change the actual menu label, how it will show up. You can change this to uh, donate today, today, donate now, however you want. And then with this, you're just going to save that to the menu. And let's go ahead and take a look at this in the site. I'm going to open a new page. And so now you can see in the main menu, you have a donate page and a sample page. And we're going to go ahead and click donate. So you can see what the, do the seamless donation page looks like. So there it is. People are going to be able to pick an amount. They can uh, make it gifts. There's lots of, this is just an, a really amazing plugin for free. So I'm just amazed. And uh, I actually donated money to the person who made this just because it's such a great tool. Anyway, you go through and you would fill your information out and then you would press donate and that would connect to whatever uh, ad email address you gave for your PayPal account. And the people would finish the transaction there. And it's a, it's a very good looking, clean donation page. So there you have it. You um, We have installed some widgets or I'm sorry, we have installed some plugins and we have added some widgets and we used some short code and we even had uh, added a menu item. So good work today, folks. Um, stay tuned for our next lesson and uh, really appreciate you watching. Okay, so that wraps up lesson three and the next lesson, which is lesson four, is going to be about pages and posts. So you're actually going to be putting content onto your website. Um, hey, I really hope that you are enjoying this web series and this video series. And I would really appreciate some feedback from you. If you can just let me know what you think of this, if you like it, if there's improvements I can make, I would really love to hear it because I just want this to be a good service to you. I want you to be able to use this. I want it to be valuable. So any feedback you want to give, whether it's if you're watching this on YouTube, you can leave a comment there. Or if you're on the, the Nonprofit Ally website, you can leave a comment uh, just below this video. I look forward to hearing from you, and I'll see you next lesson. Thanks.